backwards. Is it lined up where the pin will go in? Not too bad. Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and I'm pretty excited because today we are installing new tractor attachments. And the products in these three boxes right here are all from Be Expanded, and they are backhoe accessories. This is a line of products that I've been looking at for a long time, basically two years since I've had my tractor. I've wanted to add these accessories, and I'm just now getting to it. The fourth box is a hydraulic diverter and we're going to install that today but it'll be a separate video adding third function to a John Deere tractor so check that one out as well so the first thing I want to talk about is how I got these products so if you follow the channel you know that I do tractor work and I test out products and compare products and things like that Specifically for tractors, but any kind of product you're going to use to work outside, basically. And so I emailed Be Expanded, said I'm looking at your products, and I asked them if they wanted to sponsor and provide me with these products to show on the channel, and they agreed to do that. I actually originally decided to reach out to them because I've been comparing tooth bars. And I have one brand of tooth bar and I'm looking to add a couple more and do a big comparison between all the types of tooth bars that are on the market. And I wanted to include Be Expanded in that, but for me to buy four tooth bars to do a comparison with is kind of impractical because I can't use four tooth bars, it's just buying them for the video. So I reached out to Be Expanded, asked them if they wanted to be in that comparison and they were all about comparing their product to other companies. So, we worked out a deal and I've also got these backhoe attachments. This right here is the thumb. It's a mechanical thumb for my backhoe. Okay, let's open up this second box, see what we got. Okay, the second box is the extension arm for the thumb. Third box is the other half of that extension arm. This box contains the ripper tooth. This tooth will bolt on in place of the bucket and it's got a really sharp serrated edge on it. Allows you to rip through tree roots and stuff like that. What we have right here is a quick connect. This allows you to easily switch between your bucket and the ripper or a trencher or whatever you're using on your backhoe. And this is the trenching bucket. I did not just inquire about these products because I wanted to demonstrate them. I have a specific use for each of these that I want to put them to right now. And more than anything, this trencher. I've put some drainage lines across my driveway and didn't solve the problem, and I can watch when it rains and see exactly where my problem's coming from and how to fix it. And I need to install some more drains, and this is gonna do this so much better than a standard backhoe bucket, because if a drain pipe's this wide, why dig a hole this wide? That's extra dirt you have to clean up, extra mess, extra fill to put around it if you're filling rock around your pipe. So this is gonna be fantastic. Same with all of these attachments. I'm very excited to put this stuff to use. Now, I have not looked at any instructions yet, but I think the first thing I want to do is put the quick attach on. Because the thumb goes through the quick attach also. So if I put the thumb on first, I would have to take one of the pins for it back out to get the quick attach on. And yes, that looks like everything. Thumb, thumb supports, ripper, trencher, quick attach, and four pins. I can hear it raining right now, so I'll get the backhoe brought in and we'll get started. We've been working on installing the third function kit, 
didn't have the hoses we needed and had to put that on hold. So now we're going to go ahead and get the backhoe done. There's four components, but really only two to install because the other two are used the quick hit, the quick attach. So I think we want to put the quick attach in first because it shares a pin with the thumb. We've already taken out these two bolts right here that hold the factory pins in. So now it's just a matter of pushing the pins out. I think I'm going to lower the boom so the bucket's almost on the ground so I don't have to lift it as much. All right. Let's see if that will push out now. Oh, yeah. Hopefully they're all that easy. should be close on the, the alignment. Okay, now for this, I think we use the longest pin that, that it comes with because we're gonna go ahead and put the, the thumb on. And the thumb will go this way over top of that. And then, does one of those have a place for the bolt to go through? Yeah. So, as I put this in, I'm trying to line up where the, the rotation, the direction of this pin, is going to line up with the hole in the other end. Well, that was really easy. Now, the way that this quick hitch works, everything that you're going to put on it has two pin slots, front and back. So you'll need a solid pin in everything that you ever attach on one end, on the end with the cutout here that you actually pick it up with. You'll need a pin in the attachment. Then your, your second pin, which is the quick release, and just has this cotter pin on the back is the one that will go through the back. So let's try the factory bucket first. Since I still have the two factory pins, I think I'll have enough to keep a pin in every attachment for it. Now I've got the front pin in the ripper. Now, all my attachments have the front pin in place, ready to go. Now we can hook up the top arm on the thumb. It's got two stabilizers, a wider one and a smaller one. This wide one has four sets of holes that you use. to just 
just go in like an eighth of an inch. That was not bad at all. I was able to pick it up in the first try. Now, it took me, took me a second, but I was able to get it. Now, I've got this pulled all the way up where it's not really doing anything. And maybe when you're just digging, you want it out of the way. But if you're gonna grab anything, it's got three other positions further down. So let's go like to this middle one and see if I can pick anything up. And the only thing setting here to pick up is this bucket, so I guess I'll do that real quick. Most of the time with a video like this, you're comparing a product to the other options that are available. Well, in this case, B Expanded is kind of in a class of their own. There are some other companies that make backhoe accessories for a tractor, but nothing that compares to this with the quick attach and the ripper bucket, the trenching bucket, and just all the versatility that they offer. The only competitor I could have got for this is for the thumb. John Deere has a manual thumb and they have a hydraulic thumb. But the manual thumb costs twice as much as the manual thumb from B Expanded. So that's not a very hard decision for me. And then the hydraulic thumb has a lever up on top and the reviews I've seen on it were mostly negative about how people didn't really care for that hydraulic thumb. So as I was preparing for how this project was gonna go, I was expecting this to be a lot more difficult and a lot more time consuming. We put this whole thing together in 30 minutes, hardly had to drive anything in, everything pretty much just slid right together. And now, as I have already demonstrated, I can switch the attachment on the end of this. I mean, what are you gonna spend one minute? You pull this pin, push that pin out, and the thing falls off. So, thrilled with the system. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links over here to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.